Hi, my people. That sounded really weird because I sound like a president addressing the country. My people. Uh, which is bizarre because this is on the World Wide Web, so this is reaching all countries. Hello, world. That sounded really weird and dramatic and very theatrical, like I'm on Broadway. Not that I know because I've never been on Broadway. Okay, I'm gonna whew, start over. And hi. That sounded like I was a kindergarten teacher. Just pretend I said hi, um, because apparently I don't want to say that like a normal person. And hi, everyone. Yeah, that was a good one. Okay. Um. So this is a video on my October favorites, which is I don't know. October's kind of over, kind of. It is over. It is November 3rd as I film this right now. Oh, by the way, I apologize for the appearance of my hair, but I am battling static electricity. I have been battling all day, and I've lost the battle. So, just ignore. Um, so I'm going to start with, let's see. I guess I'll start with my cosmetic stuff, since this is technically supposed to be like a cosmetics channel. Oh, that's what I intended it for anyway, not that it matters. Uh, anyway, so the first thing should come as no surprise if anybody has been watching any of my videos or subscribed or anything like that, then you will know that number one on my list of favorites for the month of October was the Claire's eyeshadow palettes. I really love them. I'm very happy with them and I'm pleased. So I've done reviews of these. I will, and swatches, I will link those below in the info box know what I'm talking about and why I love them so much. Um, the next thing I love is, let's see, this is the LA Splash Cosmetics Splash Proof Sealer Eyeshadow Sealer and or Base. This is a eye primer. I have been using this, this is kind of a September's favorite too as well, but I've been using this all month religiously and ever since I started using this, I haven't had any creasing. Uh, and I know that sounds like, like, whoa, no creasing whatsoever? That's crazy. I don't know if I'm like a valley girl, but, um, anyway, so, for some reason, I just really love it. It's, it can be temperamental. I will do a formal review of this fairly soon. I'll try to do it before the end of my giveaway or around the time that I end my giveaway. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link my giveaway below so you will know what I'm talking about. Um, but I love this. Really great primer. And it's super cheap. It's not expensive at all. I think this is, like, almost $7, maybe, compared to, what, uh, Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance or Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is like, I don't know, almost 20 to $30 or something crazy like that. 18 to $28 or something like that. Anyway, um, the next thing I've been loving is this Rimmel Blush. It's Lasting Finish Blush. It's, um, called Berry. It's number 030. And originally when I bought this, I had intended it to be kind of a contour, or between a contour and a blush, because it looks so dark, but when I tried it on, it looks a lot, it sounds, it looks like Berry, the way the name says. So it's very blushy and pretty and just a really flattering color for my skin tone. So I really love this and I'm very pleased with it even though it didn't turn out the way I had hoped it would because um, I've been using it not as I had and not as I had intended to use it. But I'm very pleased with it. It was a great purchase anyhow. Um, next thing I've been loving are the Essence Triple XL Shine Lip Glosses. I have three of them. Uh, this one's called Big Night Out. It's just the first one that I saw. I have three, like I said. I think there's one called Rock Star Rock Out. That's one, I think. And there's another one called Party Time, I think. I can't quite remember. I have had a haul where I talk about these. I will link that below in the information box as well. Next thing I've been loving is my e.l.f. Matte Finisher Top Coat Polish. This is a top coat polish that mattifies the color of your nails. So let's say you have um, this color in particular maybe and you want to have a matte finish. You put this on and it'll mattify the finish and you'll get this nice green pea green color which is left over from Halloween. And um, it'll... Oh, ah, ignore what just happened. Um, and it will mattify the color. I have done a review slash demonstration video on this, and I will link that below in the info box as well. Really great. I love it. And it's only a dollar. What? Yes, only a dollar. I'm not lying. Um, next is NYX's 
Raya or Nyx's um, Raya. This is from the Round Lipstick Collection. This is kind of a gray... Let me swatch it. Um, kind of a gray mauve nude whatever color. It's not flattering on my skin tone at all. However, what I do love to use it for, because I'm sure you're wondering if it's not flattering, why the hell would you wear it or put it in your favorites? Um, I like to use this lip pencil, which I got from Walmart for super cheap, and it gets the job done, so I like it. It, um, if I have a lipstick that's super bright, super dark, really intense, not something that I particularly want to wear to work because I feel like maybe perhaps it's not exactly the most, um, office appropriate. I put some of this on with the lip pencil, I mean with the lip brush, and it helps tone down that color. It, I still get the color that I want, like that sort of from that shade family, but this just helps um, transform it into something that's a little bit more wearable, day friendly, and you look polished put together, and it's just really great. It's a great, it's a great staple, I think, if you are the type of person who wants to, or if you're somebody who uh, likes to experiment with mixing colors and lipsticks and things like that. So this is a really great lipstick for that. Um, the next thing I've been loving, this is in cosmetics. This is sort of um, skincare, uh, hygiene, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, product and this is Cleaning Clears Advantage Mark Treatment with Salicylic Acid Medication. This is by Johnson and Johnson. It comes in um well it comes in like a regular little box by itself, but I think it also comes in like a kit. So I, I haven't tried um, all the other products in the kit, so I can't attest to I can't testify to um how those products do. But I do like this. Originally I was using Percy Gel 10, also by Clean and Clear, but that wasn't working as well as it used to, and I had been using a salicylic acid spot treatment before by Neutrogena that I did like. It stopped working, so I went to Persigel. That worked all right, and then it stopped working, and then it kind of made me break out more, which is kind of ridiculous because it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to stop breakouts, right? And then this, I went back to trying this because I had used it, didn't like it, and went to the Persigel 10, and now I'm back to this, and I love it now. So... I don't know what's going on. My skin is being very fickle, but luckily right now, even though I still have blemishes from previous breakouts, um, it's behaving. It's n I've not had any crazy um, super breakouts that I was having before. It's kind of tamed itself, but I don't want to jinx it, so I'm knocking on wood that um, it stays that way and it stays behaved. Um, so this has helped me out with that. Um, the other thing in terms of skin care that I've been loving is this. This is by Neutrogena. It is the Oil-Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit Facial Cleanser. It's got microclear technology and it clears out breakouts and it's 100% naturally derived from grapefruit extract. It has salicylic acid acne treatment. That was quite a mouthful. And I love this. I've been using this for quite some time now and I'm very happy with it. Winter's coming up, my skin's getting drier, so I am going to switch to the cream cleanser version of this um, in hopes that maybe that won't um, dry out my skin as much as this has because this is a bit dry. But um, as long as you have a really good moisturizer, it should be fine. And I have oily skin, so I'm not really too worried about um, this drying out my skin too much yet. But in the middle of winter, I'm going to have to switch eventually, I think. So I do really like this. I'm very happy with it. I've done a review on this, and I will link that below in the information box. Lots of stuff to link in the information box. The next thing I've been loving, um, oh, well, you know what? Let me pick this thing up. This is a bath product. This is um, Skin So Soft by Avon. It is the Mineral Gems Luminous Pearl Body Scrub. I have been using this with Dove's um, Moisture Rich something um, body wash. I kind of put some of this in my loofah and then some of that in the, in the loofah and mix it together. And it's just a really great moisturizing scrub combo. However, I am going to purchase this in the body wash form as well because I love the way this smells. It's not, it's kind of perfumey a little bit, but it kind of smells not so feminine. Not because it's not girly, but there's something about it that smells unisex that I like. Um, a little bit like CK1. I'm not going to say it smells like CK1, but it's got that unix, unisex smell to it that I really like. But I do like the body scrub um, -ness of this. It works really well, and I'm really, really pleased with it. And I got it on sale for really cheap. I think normally it's pretty expensive. It's like $8 for this little tiny bottle. But, um... I'm still happy with this, and like I said, I got it on sale. The other thing that I want to talk about, um, or other things in my um, in this video that I want to talk about, is um, are my Old Navy jeggings from the Women's Plus section online. I have two pairs. I have this pair, which is the dark wash one, and I have ugh, this pair, which is the gray wash one. And um, the only problem I have with both of them is that 
there's a quality control issue, I believe. For some reason, my dark wash jeans are, or jeggings are shorter. The gray ones are a lot longer. And I love both of them, and I love the length of both of them, but they're very different, and I order them in the same size and everything, so it's very strange that they would come in different lengths. So, either way, I'm not really, I'm not displeased at all. The shorter ones make me feel like Audrey Hepburn in that cafe scene of Funny Face where she's dancing that beatnik cafe. I love it. So, I'm happy with that. The long ones, I just really like. They're just really flattering, and I do love them. And the other thing that I want to talk about, um, or another thing that I want to talk about, is this um, vest, sweater vest that I got from Kohl's. This is by Elle. I really love it. I got it on sale, and I, I just really love it. It's fabulous. Um, I've actually had that in the haul before, so I won't bother going into that. The other thing that I've been loving lately is my MP3 player. Actually, in particular, I've been loving my, um, well, this is the Sony Walkman, um, 8 gig. And I've been loving books on CD because a lot of books tend, that I'm interested in tend to be huge, too huge, and I can't carry that around with me everywhere. It's just too much to carry. So, um, that's that. The next thing that I wanted to talk about... Oh, TV shows that I've been loving. Mad Men. I've never watched that show on AMC. I've been wa I borrowed DVDs from um, a friend of mine, and she's a huge fan. I've been watching them religiously. I'm on season three right now. I think I'm halfway through season three right now. I love that show so much. The only thing is, Mad Men, I think, is turning me into a man-hater. Even though I love John Draper, he's a jerk, kind of. Um, but I love John Hamm. <laughs> he's so cute. Um, cute is not the word, actually. He's sexy and handsome, and you don't need to know this about what I think of him. I don't know why I'm talking like a lunatic. And the next thing, let's see. Oh, Terriers. That's a good show, too. That's got Donald Logue, I think. He's got a very strange name, and I really hope that I pronounced that correctly. And it's also got the guy who played Renee from True Blood, if anybody knows that show. Um, he doesn't have a funky accent in this show, but he's got, like, that really great voice. I don't know. And I think he might actually be singing the theme song, which I love, because that's um, my ringtone right now on my cell phone. So, those are my favorites so far. Oh, wait, songs. Favorite songs. Right now, I'm loving Mike Posner's Please Don't Go. I love that song, but they're not playing it on the radio. And, and I'm sick of hearing his other song, because I love that song so much. And the other song that I've been loving is Florence and the Machines, um... Not that. That's not the name of the song. The name of the song is Cosmic Love. Such a good song. She also sings that song, um, The Dog Days Are Over, and that's a good song. So I'm sure some of you have heard that song before. It's fabulous. It was on the trailer, or in the trailer for Pray Eat Love. So those are my favorites. I hope you like them. If not, too bad. If you do, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, so if you like this video, please thumbs up. If you like my videos or you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And... If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please put them down below, and I will try to address them as quickly as possible. I have a giveaway going on. It's open until Saturday. Please enter, um, and I will link that below, like I said before, so you can get a chance to win some of the fabulous prizes I have. Okay, bye. I love you. I don't know why I just said that, because I don't know you, so I don't love you. I mean, I, you know, yay, I'm happy that you're watching, so I guess I love you for that, but I don't, I'm not like on a deep connection. You know what I mean, right? I'm not trying to break up with you. I just... I'm stuck. Love is just a really strong word. It's, it's a word you use when you're committing to something. I'm committing to YouTube and, and to you subscribers, so maybe I do love you. I'm a very confused person, and I'm really hoping that this rant will not take me over 15 minutes because I won't be able to upload it. So, I'm giving up now. I'm going to turn off the... Okay, bye.